So I'll talk a little bit in the six minutes about uh, values. I'll start by saying that uh, business actually has added lots of value to society in the last decades or centuries. People live longer, live better than they have ever lived. But today I will not talk about this kind of values or the lack of values that were added maybe on a different way in different societies. But I will talk about the values based on which business was created, based on which business are made every day, the values that are influenced by business. And I will start by saying that business community has been largely influenced by a statement made by Milton Friedman long ago saying that the business of business is business. And that created in business society the idea that, I mean, you do your business, you get your results, you get your quarterly results, you get your stock price up, and that's what you have to do. I have been thinking over many years. Is it true? Doesn't it really matter the way companies are producing their products or the way they are structuring themselves to, to have the services? Doesn't it re really matter what the way they are impacting society, consumers, suppliers, environmental aspects? Actually, I think it does. So for many years, I have been saying that the business of business is sustainable business. And I think that's what we have to build around. It's, there is no dilemma between doing business and having a holistic view of what business responsibilities are all about. Actually, you have, to do, you have to look into it, and the business will only be sustainable if it looks into the various angles of the impacts of its uh, stakeholders and so on. So are you impacting environmental? Are you impacting suppliers? What kind of things are you doing? What kind of society are you building? Some people think that this actually will be restrictive and say, oh, but if you start looking into it, you'll probably not be able to do things properly. And I would like to challenge otherwise and saying that actually being ethical, transparent, actually it brings new opportunities. You can build new products, you can build new things, you can actually build a better society by doing that. It's a win-win proposition where everybody is really making some gain on that. So it's a false dilemma to say that you cannot really embrace those if you are in the business community. You can. Why am I optimistic about it? I'm optimistic because I think at the end it's consumers which will make the difference. Consumers are better educated by the day and they understand exactly what are the products, what is the impact, what kind of energy they want to see being produced. So I normally say that um, if my generation has not really left a better world for our children, has certainly left better children for our world. Children which are a lot more conscious, people which are looking into things that we never looked before. So I'm, I'm optimistic that this new generation will make a tremendous difference in the way business are made. Today we are living a big crisis worldwide. Does it really matter the crisis we are living? Of course it does. It impacts us. Does it have to do with values? Of course it does. Values is one of the reasons why we are the way we are. So we have to bring values to every single part of society, including business, government, and so on. But who is going to do that? I think that's going to be done by each one of us. When I'm talking here about ideas worth be spreading, I think the idea is that it is not to be delegated to anyone. The way we build a better society, the way we build a better business, the way we build a better government, is really by each one of us, on our day-to-day, -day, acting according to our beliefs. Changing values does not require Congress approval, does not require very problematic and troublesome process. It does require each one of us believing that we can do and each one of us doing it. Society at the end is the addition of every one of us attitudes and that's what we are talking about. We are talking about if we do not like the way things are, if we do not like the way the products are, if we don't like the way environmental is being impacted. It has to be done, therefore, on our day-to-day. -day. Our attitudes is what will make the difference. Education, consciousness, that's what will make the difference. So the message I want to leave in this short six minutes here is to say that we do have all the conditions to influence and to build the society we want to have. We should never stay back and criticize and saying that's the way things should be done. That's the way government should be acting. And by the way, we do that a lot. 
be, the government should be doing this and that. And what are we doing on our day to day? What are we doing with the little problems here and there? What uh, in, in Portuguese, as we call uh, the pequenos delitos, are we are we being uh, complacent? Are we being uh, compromising on that, or are we not? I think that's what we have to do. Actually, as Gandhi summarized very well, we must be the change we want to see in the world. If you really, really want to see it, that's what you have to do. And for business, there is no dilemma. You can be successful, and if you're connected with society, if you understand exactly what society is demanding, and it's up to one of us, to each one of us, to build the society we want. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Thank you for this time. Thank you. <laughs> okay.